hamsters are easier to care for than a dog or a cat. They still need the adequate space they need for digging, burrowing, running around, foraging, all the natural behaviors that they would represent in the wild. This is why large hamster cages are super duper important and that's what we're going to be getting into today. Okay, so here I have a hamster cage. This hamster cage, as you can see, it's not very big, it's tiny. But believe it or not, this hamster cage is the size that people assume is suitable for a hamster. So we're going to try and see how well that goes. I'm going to try and put everything a hamster needs inside of this tiny cage. And we're gonna find out whether or not this cage is big enough. We'll see, let's, let's find out. Okay, so I have filled up the cage to as bad as much as I can fit. So now we're going to try and fit all the necessary accessories inside the cage. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> I've got everything I need here. Now we're gonna try and put all of the accessories into the cage. So, first things first. We're gonna need a proper size wheel. This is an 11 inch wheel. Now we're gonna need a decent sized sand bath, a corner, a hideout. Um, okay, we're gonna fit that in here because everything needs to fit, okay? Everything needs to fit. And we'll have the water bottle. For the video, I'm gonna remove the water bottle just so I don't get the bedding wet because I did take this bedding from an artist's cage. Okay. And obviously we need a toy. And oh, oh look at that. We're already out of room. So let's put the lid back on. Because obviously we don't want the hamster to escape. Let's put the lid on. There we go. Well done. Let's review what we see. We've got a proper size wheel that barely spins. We've got a hideout, a proper size hideout, mind you. Uh oh. We've got bedding spilling all over the place, which is just brilliant. We've got a water bottle holder, a sand bath, and a toy. Keep in mind, this is just the bare minimum of what a hamster will need. A hamster will want to have a lot more than just the bare minimum to have a happy, fulfilling life. This is just the bare minimum. Hamsters are very high energy animals. They like to run, they like to explore, they like to forage, they like to burrow. It is shown that in the wild, hamsters are burrowing as steep as 31 inches under the ground. So it's really, really important that for your hamster to get enough enrichment in their life that you need a really, really, really deep depth of bedding in your cage. And that's just really not possible if you have a small enclosure like I demonstrated earlier. Another thing that you should provide for your hamster that isn't always possible when you have a small cage is forms of enrichment. This includes cork logs, grapevine, grapevine wood, as well as foraging such as flax seeds, flax sprays, sunflower heads, all of that really fancy stuff that most people don't think hamsters need but they do. By doing this, your hamster is able to let out their energy in other ways apart from the wheel. It is really important that your hamster cage does have a wheel, but it's also important that you do provide for them a lot of other types of enrichments as well as borrowing is really important, as I previously mentioned. When you have a small hamster cage, not all of this is possible. So that's why it's really important that you have a decent sized enclosure so you can provide your hamster tons and tons of enrichment. They will thank you for that. There have been many studies that do show hamsters when they are placed in a very small enclosure, including when hamsters are placed in small enclosures, the stress behaviors that they present are a lot higher and a lot more frequent than hamsters that are placed in a lot larger enclosures. So like every animal does, a hamster is going to stink. So you are going to want to have to clean your hamster cage out, but that kind of depends on the size of the cage. If you have a smaller enclosure for your hamster, you will have to clean that out more because your bedding will get dirty a bit easily. 
So this does mean that when you have a smaller cage, you'll have to be cleaning out your bedding at least once a week, which actually isn't recommended due to it can cause a lot of stress to your hamster. So with a big enclosure, you only probably have to clean that out around once a month like I do, which is a lot less stress for your hamster and also a lot less stress for you. And also bedding costs a lot of money. So it will also save you a lot of money if you are cleaning your hamster cage out only once a month instead of once a week. When a hamster is placed in a cage that's too small for them, they normally start showing what we call stress behaviors in the hamster community. Stress behaviors include bar biting, bar chewing, monkey barring, and there's a lot more, there's a whole list of them, but those are the more common ones, as well as wall pacing and wall scaling. These can all hurt your hamster in a lot of different ways. Bar biting can actually hurt your hamster's teeth. They could accidentally chip a tooth. They could cut their lip. I've seen that happen to my friend's hamster. It's not nice. Uh, wall scaling is a stress behavior that hamsters represent. Normally in pet shops, I've seen them going up and down, up and down is basically what they do when they're wall scaling. And sometimes they jump up and down to try and get out of the enclosure because it's too small and they're like, I want to get out of here, it's way too small. So there are actually a lot of cons to getting a hamster, a really small cage. 